All right, YouTube, how's it going? I want to talk to y'all about second about the coming uh, chaos that might ensue here within the next month of time. A lot of us are expecting the uh, Civil War to kick off, I don't know, probably next month, maybe within the next few months, as of the election, right? <clears throat> well, it's possible it may be later. This might spark it, but it may not be for another year or two. If it happens, still question, guys, it's still possible that it may not happen. But something that popped in my head uh, this morning. Are you all ready for that? Think of the time of year the election happens. Think of the time of year any of this, if any of this kicks off, when it's going to be happening. For many of us, in the upper half of the country at least, it's going to be cold. We're going to have change of season. We're starting it right now. Depending on what region, what part of the country you may actually be in, <clears throat> we're entering fall here where I'm at. But you may already be getting winter weather this early in the fall. We do a tiny bit here and there, but we don't get that horribly cold usually until we get closer to winter. Some of y'all might be getting snow early in the fall. I don't think many of us have thought about that, even those who... Those of us who use our gear and train or maybe put it in regular practice with our day-to-day -day lives so we really get good use out of our gear and get to know it. You need to play with your gears, guys. I don't have all mine out here. I don't need to do that. You all know what I'm talking about, and I ain't going to take the time to do that. Uh, you all shouldn't care about that. Mine's in my car anyways, my kit, my loadout right now. Uh, this is actually a newer rifle I bought over the past few months. Not that it matters, but it is an AR-15 model from Springfield Armories. And this is the Springfield Armory Saint. It's actually a good rifle, but for a composite rifle, guys, this is heavy. So think about that. Even among those of us ha who use our gear and put it in a regular practice so we get used to using it. Have you used it in winter apparel, in heavy clothing? Have you used it when everything is heavier, when everything is harder to move because you're stiffer, because you're covered in a lot more, you're carrying a heavier pack because your pack is weighed down with better gear for the season? Hmm? Huh? Are you prepared to have weapon malfunctions due to the cold? Are you prepared to maintain your weapon better so that does not happen? This rifle is not done up at all because there's no point. I ain't switching to rifle and learning to run that rifle carbine, an AR-15, when I cannot buy ammo for it right now, I managed to get my hands on a box of ammo, uh, a couple 20 count boxes of 556, five, probably two times over the past month. Now, I'm not seeing much. Defensive tactical rounds, no. Everything else, still very plentiful where I'm at. But think about this in this jacket, even when it's not new, this jacket is bulky. It's stiff. It's a lot to move around in. You just got a lot of poofiness on you, even if it's nice and broken in. It's going to be hard moving, especially if you have a plate carrier or attack vest on. Or maybe a chest rig. And then you got your pack on with that. Because you know there ain't going to be no resupply, guys. You have to carry all your crap everywhere with you and move and fight in it. Hopefully not. Have you thought about the fact that if it's cold enough that you're wearing this and you're out in this, you're not going back and forth to your house every few hours. If it's on, it's on. If you're going to war, then you're going to war. 
So you're probably going to be wanting to wear a face covering, even if it's not that cold out. When you're out in it for hours on end, maybe a day, you're not really getting to go inside anytime soon. Your face is going to get cold. Discomfort will make it hard to function, hard to operate. Now I get it, it's hard to use your gear, especially your firearms, public. Hard to train with that outside of going to a range. But everything else you can use. Go get uncomfortable. Yeah, it may be a little too warm in most places around the country for a jacket like this. So far, may have a few more weeks. But you know what? Little warmth never hurt anyone. And it's cool enough you can wear it without getting too hot. But if you get hot, so what? You're getting used to being uncomfortable. Think about it. You gotta wear this, something like this, maybe heavier. Gonna have to have a face covering so your face don't get cold. And if you're out in the shit, you don't want anyone knowing who you are. And say you're a militia, an official state recognized and organized militia. What if they enact martial law and they call the militia out? They may demand that your face be covered for both those reasons. Even just a bandana. Over time, that's going to be cumbersome. You carry a handkerchief or a bandana. How warm will that keep you? It'll be enough to do the job. But over time, even now, it'll make it hard. Even now, it'll be uncomfortable. Because you won't be breathing well in this heat, in, in the cool area. You've got something over your face for hours. Just that alone, over time, you'll get tired of having that on your face. You know, it'll be making it hard to run, jog, combined with all your gear weighing you down. You're going to get tired out. But I have not accessorized this weapon. I have not put any added gear on it. No, I want to. I want to make this my battle rifle. But what's the point? I already got one I'm used to and used to run. I want to learn to run, run this because I want this one for my go-to battle rifle. And yes, I have ammo. I mean, obviously it takes the same ammo as my other rifle, 5.56, 223. Just swap that. Actually, I believe got the same magazine, so I don't even need to move the ammo around. Just swap the mags into the into the vest. But uh, why? Because then I'm still gonna have to train on this carving to get used to running it. Now I don't want to use up that ammo. So right now I'm not spending anything on this other than getting a few more mags. This is the stock magazine that came with it. I got a bunch more. The same brand, only I got windows. I got six, seven more of those. Um, that's really all I've done for it so far. And this is going to be hard to do uh, one handed, so I'm going to put you down. Bear with me, guys. But just to appease everyone, uh, it is safe. But uh, I'll show you it's clear. So, rifle is cleared. Carbine, keep calling it rifle. It's short rifle is cleared. And, uh, yeah, no ammo in this puppy right now because I got it all in my other kit. I uh, actually haven't even gotten to try and fire this baby yet. Sadly, really want to. But, only thing I don't really like about this puppy is that trigger there. Stands out like a weed. The one weed that you miss when you're cutting your grass. Anyway, so think about that, guys.
Get used to using your gear and all your winter crap. There's debate over whether or not you should pack your kit up, your bug up bag, whatever it is, and leave it alone. Never touch it. Never go through. And that's one side. The other side says adjust it as need be, particularly with the seasons. If you're in a place that has seasons, at least seasons to worry about. Why? That doesn't... You need to use your gear, so don't leave it alone, but also don't be moving things in and out of it. Pack what you need, get it in there, always have that stuff in there. But if you do have seasons, that's the hard part. So figure it out for yourself. There's really no right answer there. It's just what works best for you. For me, I'm not someone that always adjusts things. That's a lot of work, and you're never really going to remember what you have in there because you're moving stuff around all the time. That's a lot, especially if you have more than just one bag, one kit. Maybe you live the prepared lifestyle. Maybe you're a homesteader. You've got a lot to keep up, not just that one bag. To always be paying attention to what the weather's doing and always be moving stuff. I do this. I have one change of clothes. The appropriate clothing for the time of year in there. In my bag, I don't literally a top and bottoms, Je probably jeans, and jeans are always doable, always good. But thick a pair of jeans that'll hold up, won't get ripped as easily, will keep me warmer no matter how cold the weather is. Some of you might need lion jeans, or maybe something more than jeans. Um, when I don't have that in there, I have some fatigues, some uh, cover off fatigue bottoms. And then I have a shirt of some sort, always. Long sleeves. You can push it up. You don't need a jacket. When you get to that time of year that you could need a, you will need a jacket if you have to bug out, if you have to get home, if you have to whatever, gab the jacket you want, keep it in your car. Carhartt or work apparel jacket is a good option. This you can wear over nothing but a t-shirt and be fine down the pretty much sub-zero temps it seems like, right? Knees keep you incredibly warm, even with them open. Get one with a hood. Um, Why well, cover your whole body and you have have your head freeze? Um, and it's Gucci. It'll go with all your Coyote Tan gear. So go with something like that. Otherwise, change your bag out. Have a change of clothes. You're already going to have underwear and socks in there anyways. Have one thing in there. What if you have to go? You're in your car. You're on the way home. Maybe you're, you're in your vehicle. You're on the highway. You have to get somewhere now on foot. But you don't have the appropriate apparel. You don't have the appropriate clothing on for the time of year. Maybe the appropriate shoes. Get good footwear. Keep good footwear in there or next to the bag. And then have a good change of clothes in there for the time of year. And you don't have to change it right away. But when you get to a good stopping point where you can safely change quickly, um, you can do that. If you're a businessman, white collar, corporate guy, that would especially be true for you. But so just food for thought, guys. Uh, have you thought about it? Have to operate now in a bunch of winter gear. Because everyone's talking about the Civil War. It seems like everyone's forgetting. This is the time of year where winter comes. And winter is coming, it seems like. Whether it's right away or a few months or a few years off. Maybe never. I don't want it to happen. It might never happen. But at the same time, if it's going to, then I want it to as quick as possible. So let's get it over with. But have you thought about having to operate in all your winter, your heavy winter apparel? It is going to be a cumbersome biatch. So, um, stop and think about that for a few minutes, guys. Bye.